Hello, my friends. So, since it has been almost 10 years since the release of the Dol Krug album Eat Me, I thought it would also make sense to release the making of documentary of the album that was only available uh, in this homemade Blu-ray disc that I released back in 2014 called Watch Me. Uh, a lot has changed since then, the world has changed, I have changed. Uh, but I decided to upload this documentary now for three reasons. One, as a personal journal. Two, to save it for posterity. And three, for anyone wanting to see the struggles of a very weird human being who is still trying to figure out who he is and why. With all that said, please enjoy the video. Greetings, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed the videos I have prepared for the Doll Crook album, Eat Me. In the next bonus features, I'd like to share some background information behind the making of the album and the visuals. Doll Krug is the third and final Doll project, which completes the circle of my experiments with metal and electronic music. When I started creating this music hybrid, it was instantly clear that I would need three projects to fully express my vision. Dol Amat would be the epic project, Dol Theta would be the atmospheric one, and finally Dol Krug the extreme. I was leaving clues for the upcoming Krug project, both in Dol Amat's Star Tale song The Birth of Krug, and also inside the lyrics of the Thalassa Dominion in Ocean Dynamics. My inspiration behind the concept of Dol Krug was mainly Dadaism, the anti-art movement formed after the First World War. Dadaism rejected reality and honored the absurd. Marcel Dussan's urinal art entitled The Fountain was my main inspiration to write a song about diarrhea. In all fairness, with so many songs written about love and hate, there needed to be a song dedicated to diarrhea. Dadaism also fueled my love of self-sarcasm and black humor. I hate bands that take themselves too seriously. Pretentious looks in metal and in popular music really turn me off. My second biggest influence in making this album was the documentary Earthlings, a horrific display of the animal abuse happening on our planet right now. This highly disturbing documentary, together with the love of nature that my black cat Batman has taught me the last years, have changed my perspective about many things in our world. Becoming a vegetarian was one of them. Finally, the more metaphoric concept of Eat Me came from my own country's social and political corruption. Greece has become a cannibal of ideas and dreams, honoring apathy and crushing creativity. Living here gets harder and harder every day. My suffocating feelings are expressed in Dol Krug. So how did I go from this? I go, comets of cosmic eyes, this, this into this. Zombies fall like me train. Unto the earth, they have got the munchies, like starling pigs, the cosmic butcher black hole, their origin, it is raining zombies, hallelujah. Back in 2004, I had just released Star Tales and was expressing my concept of the three doll projects to a great new friend I had just met, called Jorgen. Jorgen is a living encyclopedia of death metal, an avid collector of records and hardcore old-school death metal fan. Hello, this is Jorgen. I'm handling the vocals for Doll Krug. Some of the vocalists I consider to be my own uh, 
influences are uh, Rob Urbinati, Larry Portelli, Jeff Becerra, Will Rammer, uh, Jonsson from the band Andy Simix, Carl Willits, Bill Steer. <laughs> Actually, yes, according to my own uh, belief, they, they can coexist, without a doubt. And uh, this is due to the fact that uh, both these musical genres are extremely sounding in their own right. And uh, always according to my own belief, uh, Dol Krug is uh, the living proof that they can coexist. It was an easy going process working with Anasis and uh, actually it was uh, against my initial concept uh, what was uh, going to be working with him because uh, being a total control freak and uh, the absolute uh, power lord behind this band I initially th had the, the wrong uh, belief that I had to conform uh, to anything he had to strictly say or uh, direct uh, but uh, it uh, turned out to be a very easy going process and uh, uh, hopefully it will be something that will happen again in the future. Jorgen has a phenomenal voice talent that can produce deep growls, high pitched squeals and all sorts of inhuman sound effects. <laughs> We started experimenting by recording tons of sounds which I then sampled and spread over my keyboard.
I used these sounds as an instrument and fooled around creating patterns with them. In the end, it was a unique and refreshing experience for me, working with these types of vocals and sounds. The song Eat Me was the first ever Dol Krug song I composed. In the album, I got to play with my ugliest and most aggressive synth sounds. But I also used my analog synths to add some warmth, especially in the bottom end of the spectrum. of automation is taking place to liven up the synth phrases. All types of glitzy sounds and effects were appropriate for Dol Krug. I had lots of fun recording sounds for this CD and I love doing sound design using anything I can find in front of me, from my door handle to a visit to my dentist. Regarding the drums, I usually record some ideas and phrases that I can play with my electronic drum set and then I add it to my heart's content later. In this album, I layered electronic and dance drum sounds together with natural samples.
Being an electronic musician and delving with sounds and synthesizers, I always wanted to play distorted metal guitars with my keyboards. Furthermore, the phrases I had in mind for the album were impossible to be played by a human guitarist without a ton of audio editing. Sample libraries and sound effects have evolved so much the latest years that I finally had my dream come true to play perfect metal guitars using MIDI instruments. Using clean guitar recordings with virtual amp simulations I was able to find the perfect tone for the album. I recorded the bass the same way. So here I am punishing myself for having the amazingly stupid idea to create a video clip for each song of the album. I wanted to portray the immaturity of humanity and this is why I ordered this whining baby mask from eBay. During the middle of the album's conception, I had this crazy idea to create a video clip for each song of the CD. I love to create music videos and I thought it would be a great touch to share a glimpse of what goes through my head when I visualize my own music. In order to gather the huge content needed to visualize a whole album of music, I decided to license some stock photos artwork and footage, and to alter, animate and manipulate in all ways possible to fit the music. In addition, I planned some live shots together with animating photos of me and Jorgen to add to the artwork. The first video was both the most exciting and hardest one to do. Here you see a crappy children drum set I bought that lasted only the course of the video. Terrible build quality.
él. Ya te... Dios. The concept of the first song is the genocide of humankind by an alien cat race led by Lord Whiskers. It took me weeks to schedule and organize the way this scene should be shot. Thankfully Cortesa came over to help me with the whole endeavor. We tried various ways to create the city buildings. We gathered as many milk cartons, juice boxes and any other rectangular container we could find. We tried aluminum foil paper and spray paint to cover them up, but failed. The best solution was a grey wrapping paper that I found in a local packaging shop. For the windows on the buildings, we also tried stencils with spray paint, but in the end decided that little white price stickers were the best for the final result. It took us one day to prepare all the props before the suit. The next day we set up the whole miniature city on top of my bed. I decided to set the city there since the soft mattress would make the buildings unstable and would be easier to fall when Katzilla walked by them. Batman was not allowed to enter the bedroom all this time.
We dug deep into our attics for any old toys and stuff we could find that we could use as people and props for the video. After half a day, we finished the setup and finally invited Batman in. However, Batman is a peaceful, very well-mannered cat, a true gentleman. We really had a hard time filming him make a mess. Most of the time, his students stared peacefully at the strange city we had constructed. We brought some cat treats and were throwing them inside the city so that he would walk through the buildings and drop them. We also used a laser pointer on the buildings so that maybe he would attack them. Tell you talking to the Ρίξε λίγο διέσπιση από την πορεία του. Πού? Μπροστά του. Oh. Εκεί, εκεί, καλά είναι. Να ψάξει. Thankfully, in the end, I did manage to get enough shots from seconds that made him look like a bloodthirsty monster, but I had to find them inside hours and hours of footage. Έτσι, μπράβο, προχώρα. Πρέπει να βγάζεις το μίσο σου. Δεν έχω μίσο, σ' αγαπώ. Α, α, τα κορίτσια μου. Έτσι θέλω να ρίξω. Όχι ρε Δανάση, τα παρατηράκια ένα-ένα τα κολούσα. Go! Πάνθρωπος! Τέλεια!
I spent months editing and altering the visuals for all the videos. Here is a typical scene of me working on an element in the Mecha Orgy video. This calculator counting type effect for the lyrics was a real overkill for me. I spent countless hours preparing each number as a different image. For the Eat Me video, Jorgen and I had a blast with spaghetti, ketchup and half a mannequin doll given to us by our good friend Socrates. We shot the video on my balcony and I'm very happy the neighbors didn't call the police.
The idea of a video for each song sounded better in theory than reality. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done and it drained my energy completely as it took almost as much time as the production of the music itself to finish the videos. However, I had tons of enjoyable moments and I'm really curious to see what your reaction to the videos will be. Thank you very much for your continued support of my music. See you soon on our next musical journey.